Brutal Hales here from Rauda. This time we're gonna take a little bit of death metal. And weed. And weed. Did I say weed? Um, this is not exactly cannibal corpse. Uh, it's a cannabis corpse. Well, you probably know the deal by now. Uh, anyway, here you go. In case you have missed uh, this band. Started as a cannibal corpse parody of sorts. Uh, cannabis corpse quickly evolved into proper death metal band. And now there's al al already quite a few releases by this band. And uh, it has evolved uh, to so much more than just cannibal corpse jokes. Uh, we'll take a look at this a little bit later. Now just let's unopen, unopo unbox this uh, piece of an album which just came out in uh, November. This is Nug So Wild. So already a word play there. But like I said, let's get into that a bit. First, let's take a look at this cover. It's a beautifully drawn picture, but it's also very violent and funny. Uh, as you can see, there's a, it's kind of a weed, I don't know how to say it, weed nug maybe, uh, that is here with a hand, severed hand and blood and gore coming out. Oh, so very violent, which is, of course, a cannibal corpse tribute of sorts. But this band, like I said, it's always been about weed smoking pot. Well, you've got so many names for that. And I'm no drugs expert, I'm no weed expert, so goes beyond my point to actually start to telling you this green sweet leaf stuff. Anyway, uh, like I said, the music is very much like a cannibal corpse. That is kind of a brutal death metal, but instead of being about murderers, serial killers, zombies, and all kind of groovy, grimy, wily, death metal violence. This is all about smoking pot and whatnot. So first of all, let's take a look at these uh, names here. You might think some of these titles are pretty death metal oriented and you are so right. There are Cryptopsy, Point, Not So Wild, maybe None So Wild. There is a Blunt Force Domain. How about Black Force Domain? And there's songs like Cylinder of Madness, how about Alder of Madness by Morbid Angel, Blasphemy Made Hash, oh, how about Blasphemy Made Flesh, and some Caracas, Pointers, and so forth, Emulation, whatever. I mean, these are all kind of a word plays, even these not napalm death things related to so many uh, death metal bands, grindcore bands, whatever. And this has been going through, through the whole uh, career of the band. Now, some people are going to just pass this band because it's a joke band, it's a parody band, it's just pure satire or whatever. But in my opinion, that is kind of a bad thing to do if you're a death metal fan. Why so? Because death metal has never been too serious. And then again, Cannabis Corps is filled with talented musicians able to create interesting music, turning into a death metal just with a kind of a wink in your eye. Now, um... This album is no uh, different in that, those terms because uh, these guys of Municipal Waste, or some of them anyway, uh, this has been always kind of a side project. And nevertheless, this band has been able to capture the very essence of Dead Metal just without so much gore and violence. Then again, you don't really spot the difference when you're just listening to the tracks. So, for example, if I would give this one to a Cannibal Corpse fan, who wouldn't know about anything like this band, I would say, yeah, this is very cannabis, cannibal corpse type of music, and it's, you know, kind of a spin-off of that band. I guess most people would be like, yeah, yeah, let's head back to this violent stuff. Just, are, are these lyrics about serial killers and, you know, gory violence and gore rape and stuff like that? They probably wouldn't even be able to spot the difference because this is very, very true in that sense. But when we take a look at these titles, covers or whatever, it becomes kind of evident that this is band that is able to just pull out, out of those, you know, um, weed jokes, but still keeping it very, very death metallic. Now, this barely over 30 minutes of an album is very, very nicely groovy down death metal, which stands there with just, you know, to the basic foundations of what death metal is all about. Having really heavy sound, brutal gorilla vocals, and then having, of course, those riffs, guitar solos and whatever, that is the very core of the genre. In my opinion, Nug So Wild is a really good album. It's really strong, solid release that kind of deserves its attention. If you cannot handle joke bands, okay, 
then you don't. But in my opinion, this is very, very nicely done stuff. I mean, even though I so you so often kind of a disapprove uh, joke metal bands or parody bands or whatever, when it's done so nicely and it's not like it's not really stupid, it's just kind of a fun in a groovy way. I mean, I have no complaints whatsoever. And besides, there are plenty of bands singing already about violence. Why just not sing about a little bit of weed and have fun with it? But personally, I wouldn't smoke this to this album. Um, it's way too violent for that. So here you have it. Not so wild. Good album to uh, capture the death great death metal essence of the year. So there you have it. Go check it out and enjoy it without or with some smoky stuff. Take care.